not a Muslim ban, but we're totally prepared to work As questions out. swirl over President Donald Trump's executive orders, state attorneys general are watching closely. New York AG Eric Schneiderman is fighting to emerge as a major player in the liberal resistance to challenge the White House on numerous actions. If the federal government doesn't want to enforce civil rights laws or environmental laws or labor laws, there, most states have laws like that and we can protect our people. And if the federal government does things like this immigration order that actually causes real harm to the people I represent, um, we will not hesitate to sue, we will not hesitate to work with our colleagues to organize uh, others to sue. Other Democratic AGs have already been successful. The Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals halted Trump's immigration ban after Washington State and Minnesota challenged it. The law is not an abstraction. The constitutional, provi the constitutional provisions at stake are fundamental to who we are as a people. When an executive order is adopted like this, with little thought, little planning, little oversight, that creates chaos throughout our country that has a real impact on people's lives here and abroad. In taking on the executive branch of government, analysts say Schneiderman has the Constitution to back him up. If, if attorney generals like Schneiderman can amass facts behind their, their, the, the positions they're taking, they can persuade the courts. And the fact that the Republican Congress or the Trump administration doesn't like it is very much beside the point. Many of the battles the AGs are gearing up for involve flashpoint political issues. If you're an AG and you're going after protecting women's reproductive health, climate change, uh, immigration, and a refugee ban, you're on very strong political footing. It's unclear how successful Schneiderman will be, but he says he and other AGs will be vigilant. If he's breaking the law, if he's doing something that is uh, an impeachable offense, we're certainly prepared to pursue it, but it's not a vendetta. Trump has targeted Schneiderman in the past, calling him a lightweight on Twitter in 2013. But the New York Attorney General was successful in his lawsuit over Trump University, winning a $25 million settlement. Trump had vowed never to settle. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press.